Caddo Lake is my church. I spent Sunday morning out here. It's uh, where I would prefer to be rather than in a man-made edifice. If there's any evidence of divinity on this earth at all, it certainly exists here. It makes me feel very calm and uh, at peace. It makes me, uh, it gives me a great sense of belonging. I feel like a, a part of this rather than something separate from it. Love has come and gone. I've been fortunate in my career in that I've been able to travel all over the world with the Eagles doing concerts, but I've never seen any place like Caddo Lake anywhere. And uh, that's what always brings me back here. And it's not even the fact that I was born and raised very near here. I think I would come here regardless of where I was born and raised. Never seen any place quite like it. This is a bald cypress savanna swamp, and uh, it's one of only a few in the United States, and it's a, a rare and valuable ecosystem. There are some trees on this lake that are about 400 years old. There are uh, bald cypress trees in other locations that uh, they've measured or they've done core samples on that live to be a thousand years old. There are over 400 species of plants and animals here at this lake. This is part of a major flyway for songbirds that migrate all the way from Canada to Central and South America. In the summer, the lily pads and the lotuses grow and they bloom. Um, and there are all kinds of great water birds that, that fly around here. Pelicans, herons, egrets, cormorants. I caught my first fish in about probably 1954, 55 right over um, off of Potter's Point. I was fishing with my dad, and I was, I was uh, probably about eight years old. And I came out here with my son this weekend, and we had a fishing trip, and it was, uh, it was a great rite of passage for him. It created a, a wonderful bond between my son and I, similar to the bond that I had with my father when he brought me out here some uh, 50 years ago. A lot of people don't want to talk about beauty today, you know, it's, uh, it's beneath them, or it's uh, too sentimental, or it's sappy, or something like that. You know, it's, uh, the old philosophers used to say beauty is truth, and uh, you, know, you don't really even hear that word come up in conversation much anymore. But. Uh, if anything defines beauty, this place does. The hand of the divinity is directly observable here without any middlemen, without any propaganda, without any dogma. So we need places like Caddo Lake. Simply put, this is one of the most beautiful spots on earth.